Israel is still poised to strike Iran, and in July, Blinken said that Iran was one to two weeks away from developing a nuclear weapon. So I guess for all we know, they might have one by now. And meanwhile, in Ukraine, they've struck deep within Russian territory several times, as deep as 300 miles from the border. And in that case, we don't have to guess. We know that Russia has the largest nuclear arsenal on the planet, as many as 6,000 warheads. And so one of the risks of arming militaries that are striking in the territories of nuclear powers is that one one of those gets deployed and then it could escalate very quickly from there. So it, it's rarely discussed, but it's important to address that the nuclear risk is real and it could very abruptly mean the end of, you know, what humans have worked for thousands of years to collectively achieve. And uh, us today are very lucky to live in with the fruits of that achievement. And I feel like we're treating the risks kind of brazenly. So my question for you is, you know, we often hear in response to these concerns that, well, Putin, Khomeini, you know, they're war criminals, they're terrorists, uh, as if they're too inherently evil or immoral for us to negotiate with. But meanwhile, this administration has financed a genocide in Gaza for the last year, and every day you're up there denying okay. accountability for it. So, I mean, okay. what gives you the right to lecture other countries on their moral... So, if you have a policy question for me, I'm happy to take it. If you want to give a speech, no, but there are I plenty mean, of places in Washington where you can give a speech. Yeah, but people are, are sick of the bullshit in here. I mean, like, it is okay. a genocide. I'm gonna you go are on to, abetting I'm gonna go on it, another question. and go you ahead. are risking nuclear go war ahead. in Ukraine plenty, for this plenty proxy Plenty of other places to give a speech.